Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 168 pounds. Big Daddy! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! Lee! All right, get into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Let's go, right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jabs, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Circling to his right. Let's go. Get off first for me. 
Back to the jab now, no good. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Right hand on point. Nice punch here. Just missed with the left there. Look at him with his hip into that kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice. Keep moving. And then take shot. Now. Unable to connect with a right hook. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Nice punch, Lance. Huge block there. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Nice kick. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. He's got a serious right punch and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. And he landed the right hand there. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Good stick. Trying to establish that jab once again. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Whiffs on that offering. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. 30 seconds to go. Twenty seconds to go in round one. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, nice high kick. Ten seconds now in round one. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Round two straight ahead. Now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Block that kick to the body. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Real sneaky body kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. 
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Checks that leg kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Beautiful leg kick throw. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Kick to the body by Lee. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. That strike blocked by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Leg kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Switching stances here. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Out of range with that one. Going to the body there with the right kick. Ten seconds remain in round two. Oh! Entertaining scrap so far. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. 
All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks Let's all go. sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost yeah. predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big kick lands. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, big punch land. He missed with that jab attempt there. Straight right, he misses. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. And he caught the kick. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was gonna be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Yep. Tags him with the left. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Beautiful punch. That shot is blocked by Lee. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Big body kick. Straight right hand now, just misses. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, nice job to land a straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big head kick land. What a punch. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Final seconds of round three. 
Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go as our next round gets Ready. underway. His Ready. strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He ring. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. It was a good night at that land. And they separate. Hands up. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Good defense to block the strike coming back. My goodness. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he connects there, DC. Great job, landing that point. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Big kick lands. Big body kick lands. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fighting. Lands with the right hand. Liver kick. Oh, good kicks. Back and forth we go here. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. All right, so it lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cup. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's oh. touching it over and over. Oh! Nice kicks there by Lee. Chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let them go. Keep moving. Big leg kick land. He misses. Ah, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. 
Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Back to the feet. Ten seconds now to go in the round. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the trend that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Nice head kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Nice kick. <laughs> Missed with that right hand. Changes his stance. Punch over the top. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. What a body kick. Just a slip there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Came on inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Under three minutes, remain in round five. Oh, big head kick. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes for the judges, or not, you're gonna set this fight. Nice leg kick land. Great punch, landed with so much power. Oh man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Spinning back fist. Blocks the strike. Right hand upstairs. Able to find a home for that right hand once again. Head kick lands. Just missed.
misses with the straight left hand. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Slips the punch. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Able to land there with the straight left. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Guys, really throwing with authority. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Visibly limping here. Big kick. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. Oh, that's a nice fight. So the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing.